Now that we've corrected our pitch, let's get creative and make some harmony parts to the lead. Melodyne makes this really easy to do. Just select the desired notes you want to harmonize. I'm going to choose Scale Snap again to make sure that when I move the harmony parts around, they stay within the selected key. Hold down Shift, Option, Click, and Drag to create the harmony. Melodyne will automatically place the created harmony on a new track to help keep you organized. We can then mix it in by lowering the volume, panning the track a bit to the sides, and adding some EQ. Now we can sculpt it further by choosing the Edit Pitch tool and moving the notes around. We'll add a random offset to the pitch to give them a more live feel. Now that we know how to create these harmonies, let's go to the chorus to add a lower harmony part. Can't reach me, baby, in my head. Since the part has already been quantized, let's correct the pitches and smooth out the overall performance using the pitch modulation tool. Now that we've sculpted the course, let's select these notes and create the harmony. Just like before, we can now start to move the notes around to where you like them. Now let me show you how to get that vocoder effect. To achieve this effect, we'll first flatten all the vibrato on all the notes by double-clicking the selection with the pitch modulation tool. Then we'll engage the formant tool. This tool alters the actual timbre of the sound by shifting the harmonic content of the notes up or down. Let's listen to this part on its own to get a better idea of what this means. Now let's move the formant down a bit to make the sound a bit more robotic. And the more you experiment, the more variations of this effect you'll be able to achieve. Now that we've quantized, pitch corrected, and done some harmonies, it's time to add some details to the performance. 